In 1966, a quirky movie came out mixing comedy, sci-fi, and spying. Behind the scenes, there are many interesting facts to discover. Keep an eye out for those as you watch this film. Do you know any lesser known facts or stories about it? Share them! This movie brings together wild plots and strange characters. What qualities do you think make it a lasting symbol of the movie world? Let's explore this film together and share our thoughts below. Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs, released in 1966, presents an unusual blend of Eurospy parody. It serves as a sequel to two distinct films, Dr. Goldfoot and the Bikini Machine and Two Mafiosi Against Goldinger. Produced by Fulvio Lusisano of Italian International Film and American International Pictures, this collaboration resulted in a unique narrative juxtaposition. In the American version, the focus lies on Vincent Price's Dr. Goldfoot's conflict with Fabian, while the Italian release, titled The Spy Vingono dal Semifredo, prioritizes Franco Franchi and Sixio Ingrassia's comedic antics. The storyline follows Dr. Goldfoot's collaboration with the Chinese to manufacture explosive female robots, while also involving impersonations of a Na-T-O general. Bill Dexter, portrayed by Fabian, serves as the Security Intelligence Command agent, though his attention often diverts to romantic pursuits rather than global security. The cast includes Laura Antonelli as Rosanna, George Wang, and Ennio Antonelli, among others. Directed by Mario Bava, the film faced numerous challenges during production, with Price himself describing it as the most dreadful movie he had been involved in. Despite the talents involved, the outcome fell short of expectations, leaving an underwhelming impression on both cast and crew. In conclusion, Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs offers a curious blend of spy spoof and comedy, albeit marred by production difficulties and mixed reception. In Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs, the character ran his own mail-order book club in the 1970s called Vincent Price Books. He picked out exciting mystery and detective novels for people to enjoy. He was very humble, always happy to share his love for stories with others. During his career, he had chances that shaped his path in the entertainment world. One time, he said no to Jose Fur's offer to be in My Three Angels. Even though it seemed like a good role, he chose projects that fit his artistic ideas better. But he did say yes to playing the Duke of Buckingham in Fur's Richard III at New York City Center in 1953. It was a role that pushed him as an actor. His performance was great, and both the audience and critics loved it. In the movie, SIC stands for Security Intelligence Command. It was an important part of the story, adding suspense and making things more interesting. As the story unfolded, viewers were taken into a world full of secrets and danger. Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs is a classic movie loved by people all around the world. It's a reminder of the talent and hard work of everyone who helped make it happen. Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs, released in 1966, is a movie featuring Vincent Price, known for his versatile acting career. Early in his life, Vincent Price held anti-Semitic views influenced by his upbringing in St. Louis. His daughter's book highlights his evolving perspective as he later received recognition from the Anti-Defamation League. Vincent Price passed away on the same day as comedian Bob Saget, both leaving their marks on television. The film emerged amidst a trend in American international pictures following the success of The Ghost in the Invisible Bikini. Dr. Goldfoot and the Bikini Machine, its precursor, hit screens six months before. Vincent Price's performance in Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs remains noteworthy in his extensive filmography. Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs is a 1966 movie starring Vincent Price, who was famous for his roles in horror films. He acted in many scary movies with House in the title, like The House of the Seven Gables and House of Wax. Apart from horror, Vincent Price also appeared as the spirit of the nightmare in Alice Cooper's TV show in 1975. He was well-respected in showbiz and got two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for his work in movies and TV. Vincent Price's work in horror movies and his memorable acting have left a mark that people still celebrate today. He's not only known for his famous roles, but also for his ability to act in different types of movies. Vincent Price, who graduated from St. Louis Country Day School in Missouri, played a crucial role in a cult classic movie Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs. Released in 1966, the film showcased his varied talents. Apart from acting, he made a big impact at the La Jolla Playhouse in California, starring in notable productions such as The Winslow Boy and Billy Budd. 
while taking a break from filming the song of Bernadette Price and his colleague George Macready started an art gallery called The Little Gallery. This artistic collaboration added another aspect to Price's career. Their shared love for the arts found an outlet and the gallery became a place for expression and discovery. During this time, Price and Macready saw their collaboration thrive. The Little Gallery became not only a place for artistic expression, but also a showcase of the diverse interests and talents of both men. Price's involvement in the project showed his dedication to nurturing creativity beyond acting. It's interesting to learn about these lesser-known parts of Vincent Price's lifetimes when he wasn't on set, but deeply involved in the world of art and culture. Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs may be a significant movie in his career, but Price had a rich array of experiences beyond acting. In the end, Vincent Price's involvement in the Little Gallery stands as a remarkable part of his life story, illustrating how art brought together two talented individuals in a venture that extended beyond their work in movies. It shows the varied nature of a man whose impact on film and art left a lasting impression on the cultural scene. Thus, Vincent Price's diverse pursuits, from the La Jolla Playhouse to the Little Gallery, offer a glimpse into the depth of his life beyond the limelight, a story that goes beyond the title of Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs. In the 1970s, Tom Baker and Ian Martyr collaborated on a film script intended to star Price called Doctor Who Meets Scratchman, directed by James Hill, but faced copyright issues. This movie marked the second and final installment in the Dr. Goldfoot series, following the first film, Dr. Goldfoot and the Bikini Machine, released a year earlier. Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs is recognized for its critical acclaim. The artist behind it has garnered praise for numerous gallery showings, with paintings featured in galleries nationwide and in various corporate and private collections. The lead actor in the film was discovered by music promoters Robert P. Marcucci and Peter DeAngelis, who found him in despair over his family's poverty. His image featured in Milton Bradley games like Hangman and Shrunken Head Apple Sculpture during the 1970s. He honed his acting skills under Wynn Hanman in New York and Estelle Harmon in Los Angeles. In the 1966 movie Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs, Vincent Price plays the titular character Dr. Goldfoot, a mad scientist who creates female robots to seduce and assassinate wealthy men. The film features various notable aspects linked to Price's career and personal life. Charlton Heston and Vincent Price had previously worked together in The Ten Commandments. Price's involvement in Beach Blanket Bingo and The Patty Duke Show is notable for his performance of the song These Are the Good Times. Vincent Price's connection to St. Victor's is significant as he was a longtime member and his wife Coral Brown was buried there with a Mozart Requiem Mass accompanied by a full orchestra. The movie Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs showcases Price's versatility as an actor and his ability to engage in various genres from horror to comedy. It's a memorable addition to his extensive filmography.